Greetings and welcome back to Rise of Industry. I'm Catherine of Sky and I'm really thrilled to be showing you a brand new feature that has been just revealed at E3 for the game and that is the automated warehouse system. So um, this is we're in a version press copy of Alpha 6 RC5 coming soon to a public uh, beta branch near you. We are going to use um, a feature now that is going to reduce all the clicking that some of the people have been complaining about makes everything a lot easier. So we've started off here in the town of Beeb and I have kind of looked at this town and they have something that is uh, we can make here. It was the construction goods store. That's right. So we're going to go here uh, and look at the products that we can make. First of all, let's just place our headquarters down. Uh, I am in free play mode, by the way, I have $15 million there are no regions. Everything is unlocked essentially. Um, but I want to just show you this very interesting feature. So we are going to make, I think cardboard panels seem sufficiently, um, complicated. They are made from heavy pulp, which is made from wood, which, uh, is harvested just from the world. So let's go ahead and start making this production chain. Um, do we need, we don't need any water. Okay. So that's fine. We just need to make sure that we have an area near trees. So I want to first, now this is very important that you first put down your warehouse. I've tried it with not putting the warehouse down first and that didn't work very well. Uh, sometimes it worked, sometimes it didn't. This is a brand new feature, so we can expect um, some weird issues here and there, but by and large, it is very fantastic. So first of all, we're gonna put down our uh, warehouse. The warehouses cover a huge area, so you don't have to worry um, so much about the coverage range unless you have a very, very big process you're working on. Um, and this is our warehouse and it's going to have all kinds of cool stuff coming into this panel, which I guess I'll just put this down. We don't really need this cardboard thing. We'll, we'll just put the warehouse on the left. Um, but I want to show you the very cool features we're going to have here. So let's start off with our basic product, which is the wood. And that comes from a lumber yard. So we'll just put this maybe, yeah, we'll put it like right here. Oh my gosh, these things are still too dark. I can't see where they're going. There we go. Sometimes, okay, there we go. We're just gonna put five wood maker down, wood maker things down here. Oh God, all right. This also is a new problem that uh, has been, <laughs> I think this is a little too dark. Uh, it's hard to see where to put these guys, but anyway, we're going to be fine. Uh, let's get the bulldozer out, clear that. Okay. So we have the lumber yard and as you have noticed, it has appeared in the warehouse uh, as lumber yard. Let me just exit this and put this up properly so that the windows kind of uh, go to their places. Now, after this, we need things called, um, paper mills because the paper mills are going to produce the heavy wood pulp. So I'm going to put the paper mills over here, I think, uh, cause I want to show you the progression of how this works. So I'm going to put down like two paper mills. Oh, and there they are. Look at that. They're already appearing. They already have parchment default selected. So let's go in, in here and have them make the heavy pulp because that's part of the process to make these cardboard panels. Uh, let me turn on the names there. So it's shift click to copy. Uh, whoops. I needed the, um, the duplication tool, the eyedropper tool. There we go. Both paper mills are now sorted out. Okay. So now see, so the automation is like, okay, we see these things. It's going to happen. Now the, n the next thing is I'm going to put these guys on this side and I'm putting them this way on purpose. Uh, and these are going to be the guys making the cardboard panels. Now they're showing up down here as again, they've selected parchment as their default thing, but we're going to easily set them to cardboard. Again, uh, copy and paste. There they go. Updates in real time. It's good stuff here. Okay. And then we press go and we're going to see what's going to happen. Okay. So the lumber yard has, uh, this stuff and what it's doing is it has an automatic target here, warehouse one in range. You can select this to auto, or you can have a manual destinations. Um, so since they're going there, we see now. We see these trucks, they're going into the warehouse. Now these, these paper mills are picking up stuff from the warehouse. They've already decided we want lumber. Uh, wow. There's nothing left. They, they have picked up so much wood. There's none left. Um, so anyway, but yeah, you can track this, you can turn this on and off depending if you like to micromanage stuff and you might want to, there are reasons to do so. So we'll get to that. 
But in the meantime, we have a paper mill flow in here. We have six wood stored here. Uh, heavy pulp is being produced right now. And uh, okay, paper mill two is grabbing stuff from the warehouse now. They're getting the lumber from the lumber yard and they are also functioning. Okay, this is gonna make three heavy pulp and these guys need uh, two heavy pulp per cardboard. So there they go. Okay, there they are. Look, they're, they're going. Uh, let me delete some of these trees because they're very much in the way. They're, they're the enemy today, like Factorio. But anyway, uh, <laughs> there they go. And one of our paper mills is functioning. Look at this. This is great. So what we're going to do after this is we have the cardboard and the cardboard actually will go back to the warehouse. Uh, we have four wood in storage right now. Do we have anything else? These guys... Okay, now we have some heavy pulp. That's going to get redistributed to the paper mills. Um, and so they can keep on functioning here. All right, this guy is not getting any yet. Okay, there they go. There they go. They're giving the heavy pulp to this one. Uh, it seems like it really evens out quite nicely uh, over time. Wait, where is this? Oh, it's over here. Silly me. I'm like, where is that factory? It's over there. Um, and then, then we can choose from here to say, aha, our finished stuff, which is going to be tier two cardboard panels. Send that please to the commercial destination construction goods. Yep. And there they go. There they go. They are sending the cardboard bits over there. Let's go and watch them. Let's go a little bit faster here. They're going to where the hardware store? No. Nope, they're going... Oh, construction goods. I completely forgot. There they go. And they have delivered stuff. And now we have two stored in there, which is going to earn us a pretty penny, I gotta say, uh, whenever we get this happening. Let's look at our product sales up here and check how that's going to affect our budget. Look at all the trucks going everywhere. No more clicking on destinations. The warehouse does it all. This is really a fantastic, funky... Thing that's new okay we sold some good 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 so what are the potential problems here if we have all this automation what could go wrong so what could go wrong is that we get way too much wood we do have a building capacity of 374 with this warehouse now keep in mind that this is free play mode where all of the research is unlocked everything is it do we have a research here no no. Okay. I think that should actually be added up here so we can see what the trees are. But um, anyway, besides that, um, this stuff can build up. But when you see it build up, you can do a number of things about it. Either we can go to the lumber yard and either temporarily turn off the production with the uh, slider here, toggle the building on and off, and they will halt their production there. Or you can manage the ratios by maybe deleting one or more of these little, um, these guys, like I could delete one of these guys like that. So it doesn't produce as much like overproduction. Um, or I could make more of these paper mills, uh, making the, and in fact, we probably need like two of these guys to do this. Let's go back to this and cut paste paste there. And all of this, this is now getting see we have two more of these guys making stuff um so let's actually we should add a, the the harvester back uh here so we keep on producing this stuff and now we have much less wood since these are guys using all of the wood and we also have lots of heavy pulp so we're going to add more of these buildings so in a way you can manage your ratios um, by observation and just kind of looking and saying, ah, okay, let's see what, what happens here and there. Um, you could also, if you're the more impatient sort, you can just dump stuff if there's too much in it. Like for example, if your warehouse is too clogged, um, and you, you can't even get the cardboard panels back in there, you just dump whatever else and then, um, free up the space. That's another option too. So anyway, I have tried with, um, I tried with a Zeppelin field in my test game here. I thought, well, is it going to automatically make a Zeppelin route if I put a Zeppelin field here and then not connect it with the road and then tell it to go to whatever hardware store or construction goods in the town? It does not auto generate the routes for you, which is is, is understandable. You got to do something in the game, right? So, um, but one of the things I'll show you, which is a nice new feature that has been added. I've noticed this is when you put down the Zeppelin fields, let's just put them here. It doesn't really matter where. There's a setup, a root thing. 
Isn't this great? It's set up a trade route and uh, you can choose, you know, whatever you want. See, so trade. Um, we can actually have this stuff. Let's send this to our logistics. We want to go to Zeppelin Field 1 there. Okay. The problem uh, at the moment is we, we have lots of apples. <laughs> this seems to be a little bit of a bug in the game, but I'm sure the devs are aware of this. I will mention it to them if they're not. But anyway, I like that there's this button. This is very user friendly and um, we're going to... We, actually, we don't need to choose the destination because we set up the route instead of the destination because the destination is for this guy to say take your cardboard panels to the commercial establishment. This is like the output stuff. But with the set up the route thing, uh, let's go to Zeppelin routes here, add a route, Zeppelins from one. There we go. And we'll choose our cardboard panels. Um, and it'll, it needs 17 products to go. And then we'll add a stop to Zeppelin field two and they will unload all this stuff. So. Hopefully we will be getting lots more panels very shortly. We will go ahead and okay. We can just look at this thing and this is eight of 17. This is where you can see how many is required for the Zeppelin to launch. And I kind of wish that might be here somewhere too, but I guess you could have multiple. Yeah. Maybe that wouldn't work because uh, you'd have multiple um, routes per potentially using the same destinations. Uh, but yeah, anyway, the 17 is, is the, uh, the very large amount of the upgraded stuff. So, um, yeah, but let's look at our warehouse again and see what we've got going on here. We have, wow, we have tons of heavy pulp so we can make many more paper mills, um, and just kind of balance it as it goes. Okay. We're going to have 17. We're going to watch this Zeppelin leap over. I hope Oh, it has 18, right? Did I press play? You know what? I didn't press play. I bet. Gotta press play on the trade route for it to go. All right. We'll just watch this Zeppelin. Uh, I think if we can alt click on it, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna turn off that thing because it's just cool to watch it. <laughs> this is so good. And because we set the destination at Zeppelin Field 2, we shall soon see, there we go, the trucks with the cardboard panels. They're going along. I love this little town, by the way. It's very cute. Uh, okay, let's see. Where are they? Oh yeah, it's all the way across town. We could have put that Zeppelin field closer, uh, but I just wanted to demonstrate how this works. And of course they are in storage and they will be sold at four per 15 days uh, to get this going. Oh, wow. How did we, Ooh, this is interesting. Is that a new overlay? I'm not sure how I even turned that on, but it's very cool. How did that even happen? All right, I have to figure out what button causes that, but that's really neat, actually. I quite like these icons. They're so much better than just, it's not part of tab. All right, I will find out and I will get back to you when we have a series, because I do plan to start a series and feature this feature. But until then, I hope that this has been entertaining for you. Thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.